Hi there, I've been challenged to create uh, something using shortly about bankruptcy law. Of course, I'm not a lawyer. This is not legal advice, and I don't know 100% if the content that gets produced is uh, factually correct because it's not my field. But I will try my best, and I want to show, in essence, a couple of workflows that you can use to create content more quickly. Now again, the whole idea is that you're not using these tools to create content that is just, you know, for lack of a better term, fluff content. You know, you're not trying to just synthetically generate a whole bunch of articles for SEO purposes for some website or something. It, you really should be using it as a tool to aid your own uh, endeavors to write more efficiently for a topic that you probably know something about or are interested in enough to be able to write on the subject. So here we go, bankruptcy law. Uh, I'm going to show two different ways that I might go about this. Uh, first, I might just start in shortly because I really don't know what to write about. So I might just say something like, um, please give me some ideas uh, of what to write about, uh, I guess, in bankruptcy law. Did I spell that right? <laughs> and uh, maybe, hmm, how should we lead this? We'll start with uh, bankruptcy law consists of, and then let's see what shortly gives us. Right now, I'm just fishing for ideas. <clears throat> okay. Wow, this thing looks like it's giving me quite a bit here. Okay, so it's a big body of laws. All right. And let's see. Determine how a bank person is going to handle assets. Okay, so maybe handling assets and debts might be something. Let's just start a little bit little outline down here. Uh, let's see, protect interests of creditors. All right. And let's see, comes into conflict with the interests of the bankrupt. Tension between the two main areas and this objective usually comes into conflict with the interest of the bankrupt. Mm-hmm, yeah, of course, mm-hmm. Several bankruptcy categories, okay. First category of person is personal bankruptcy, handle assets and debts, protect the creditors. All right, well, let's just see what uh, shortly is going to keep going here and see if it gives us a couple more categories or something. Okay, so actually seems like it's doing a pretty decent job to me um, again not a lawyer can't really tell but when you see things like this where it's actually giving solid figures like you know I was at 5,000 pounds per day of, of non-compliance I have a hunch that that's probably not true I mean it, it could be I guess but it could have pulled that number from, from anything and it's just uh, using it so you gotta be careful um, if you're writing about this this niche, make sure that you uh, fact check everything, of course. So, all right. So, let's just sort of keep going, I guess. Personal bankruptcy here, and then maybe sort of a sub of that would be paying off financial obligations. Oops. After being adjudicated as bankrupt, individual may come to the compliance law. Okay, let's say comply with applicable laws. And uh, okay, let's just say that that's good enough. So we'll cut this down, put it over here. We're going to pretend like this is a a section so let's chop that off for the the context cutoff here 
personal bankruptcy. Okay, let's let's just not say. Let's take this off, and we'll say personal bankruptcy involves, and we'll just let that be for now. And actually, I don't need this now because that's already in it. And we'll cut again here. Cut here. Um, Let's make this into the heading here. Okay, so this isn't normally how I would do an article, but I'm just trying to show that you can actually probably do most everything right here inside of of uh, Shortly. Okay, so if you don't know already, the triple slash cuts off context, and the way context works in Shortly is from the point where your cursor is in your article up, it will send that back to the AI for use in creating new content for you. So if this was not here and I was down here writing and I only want it to really write about personal bankruptcy, right? Cause I'm kind of in a section in my article that's about personal bankruptcy. I want it to start here and go to here or here, but by default shortly is going to go all the way up all the way to the top as far as it can. Anyways, as, as much content as it can take. If your article is really, really long, there is a point after like maybe 1500 words or so that it will have to stop, but um, I don't have anywhere near that much content right now. So what I'm trying to do here with a triple slash is to stop the context right there because I don't want the stuff that's up here necessarily to interfere with the AI creating content for this section. So this stops the context. Now, when you hit write for me, it's still gonna use the article brief and the title, but right now my title is blank, so it's, there's nothing there to, to use. I need to update this now, and I need to update this with some with some context that means something for this. So let's say, um, please write an article about bankruptcy law uh, for, uh, let's see, an individual handling assets and debts, uh, personal bankruptcy, and complying with laws. I don't know. Uh, like I said, not my not my niche niche niche. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, depending on where you are, I guess. But I'm gonna try. So let's see. Comply with applicable laws. All right now. Normally you'd try and do things like starting to lead it because GPT-3 is a predictive uh, predictive text AI. So it likes to finish your thoughts for you. A personal manager, individuals, creditors, and then maybe say, and actually we could take advantage of some uh, commands here. Let's, let's do, do this even faster. Let's, um, I need to learn how to use my keyboard shortcuts on a Mac versus a Windows computer. I've been using Windows all day. All right, so let's just um, let's just go from here, and we'll just expand upon this individual creditors, and then uh, well, that didn't really work out too good, did it? The individual's creditors will, and then let's just let it write. I'm just trying to get to roughly 500 words or so, or about should be about halfway there here sh shortly, and. Uh, Okay. Well, looks like we got a couple more categories we can use here. So, okay. And uh, let's, let's do that. So, in fact, let's just do it like this. Let me uh, copy this real quick and then just expand on that. Now, I guess it doesn't have enough to really work from there. So, um, let's just undo that real fast and then let's just say in one and then just let's let the AI finish it and I think we can probably call personal bankruptcy category done okay all right let's call that section done comply with applicable laws and let's see to become compliant one should let's let it write hmm. 
so this would be one of those things too if it's if it's not your niche then you should spend some time researching to make sure that these things are correct and especially things like this section 7 of bankruptcy act 1988 maybe it's true maybe it's not i don't know um but it looks pretty cool and i'm gonna leave it that way uh, i'm gonna also start using my markdown so that when i do get to the point when i want to paste this into wordpress this will become a heading to an h2 if i wanted to be an h3 i'd put three of them there um, and I'm going to do that from up here. And we'll take away these context things. I don't need these anymore. Now, this isn't long enough now. So let's just see what we can get if we... The main aim of bankruptcy law is to protect the interest of creditors and this objective usually comes in the conflict. Let's see. Let's continue it. A conflict um, can be resolved by... And let's let the AI write. I'm trying to lead the sentence, lead the thought, let the AI take over and finish it. Okay. All right. So I left it on somewhere in between and it probably just got a little bit far. I don't need this now. Let me just take that away and let's see how many words are we? 480. All right. Let's say that um, within a specified time, let's see, um, the time limit is, and then let's let it finish. And that at this point, if it writes out something useful, okay. Oh, look at that. It almost even made like a nice little transition to the next section. Okay, cool. And put my two things here. All right. And we'll call this just bankruptcy law. Uh, personal finance. Uh, and you. <laughs> And uh, okay, so we're at 555 words. I've reached the the goal. I didn't time this, but I guess uh, later I can check in the in the video. But as you can see, that's one way that you can go about doing something like this. And I didn't start with an outline. I didn't start with doing any research. This is not something that I recommend you do unless you're unless this is your area of expertise, and then you can just run with it, and this can help you write faster get started faster even and so what i would really do is i'd go over here in a phrase and i start a new document and i would just do something like bankruptcy law and that would be my search um just change this to i would use the filter but for some reason it doesn't work under uh, safari on on a mac so I'll just change this to united states with english and create a new document now, Phrase is going to go out and get a bunch of research for bankruptcy law. I imagine there's probably a ton of it for for that type of term. It is it is a little bit broad term, so I'm sure there's probably too much, and it's not really a good thing to write about specifically. You probably need to find a sort of subcategory of that. But normally what you do here is you first you check the, the sources and make sure that they're, they're good sources. You know, this one says it's failed to process, so let's take it out. Um, att attorneys like ah, I probably don't want attorneys you know stuff like American Bar Association okay maybe and uh, so anyway you know something like that so you review them hit save so then it can have a, a more accurate sort of build of sources for you and then you'd go through and study legal proceeding how much does it come out yep okay so you know I, I definitely recommend spending a decent amount of time studying before you write your article you kind of want to write your article once and not have to spend a lot of time later coming back to it to add more and you want to write an article that very specifically assists your reader it solves the reader like the whole reason that your reader even searched for something and came to your site the term that you're targeting your article needs to answer that thoroughly right so next you look at the topic score and you see things these are the types of words that you should use in your like in your article and I imagine that in in the case of this it probably didn't use too much so you'd you'd copy that you bring it into phrase here and you let it do its job here okay so bankruptcy is used a lot look I already beat the average or at least met it just from what shortly created so not too bad so now you'd spend some time going through these topics and trying to make sure you add them if you were doing this in reverse where you started in phrase over here on the content brief is where I like to just create my outlines. 
and first of course study then come into here and use this to kind of find different things that your um, your article should, should should touch on create an outline and then put that into uh, shortly to write from and then you'd use these topics to find the, some of the stronger keywords for your topic and then in shortly you'd use those keywords over here in the article brief to make it a nice topic rich article brief to give the AI something to really work with and uh, after you're done here um, you're, you're basically done with your article and at that point you would use something like maybe Grammarly so you just turn on Grammarly spend some time you know fixing up you know you're the you're putting us and commas and all that kind of stuff in there and then there's some some parts to Grammarly that uh, are really nice as far as let's see if I can find any rewrite for clarity here we go so like this part a conflict can be resolved or 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 an auction see like and it can it can do some things for clarity which is really nice uh, for AI created content because sometimes what GPT-3 creates is a little fluffy a little wordy and um, Grammarly can go back and kind of clean some of that up for you right? which is a pretty decent time saver and of course pay attention before you just let this thing run because this is a beta and it is using an AI to do this and it makes mistakes too so there you go after you're done editing you publish it in your WordPress and that's that's the challenge that's me showing um, essentially two ways to reach that uh, 500 word article in this case it looks like it's 570 words so you could just keep going and going and going and that's one of the powers of shortly is you know before when this command didn't exist when when the triple slash wasn't here it was a little harder to get a really long article going but now you can just keep going and going so if you come down here triple slash new section just keep going and uh, eventually you end up with however many words that you need for your article of course always try to change it edit it to match your voice your tone and to make sure that it's solving what the reader needs and uh, you'll succeed so that's shortly writing about something relatively quickly and in a niche that you don't know and uh, good luck hope it helps take care